all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back update and information as to the hot uh, in case you have not joined our social media handle what are you waiting for kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to own your notification button so that whenever our news drop uh, you will be the first we'll collect them welcome on board uh it don't shell it. Uh, they ask now, nah, say what thing they happen. Uh, you know, say since um the Biafra Liberation Army BLA, they talk say uh, make the police people and army people remove all the checking points where we say they put for Bodo, all the checking points where they put for Southeast for Biafra land. Say all those checking points. Uh, say they no one see a more. Say may they come out that checking point. Say may they remove everything as they hurt now the order where we say the boys they give. Uh, but it be like say the uh, what they call them the IGP of police uh, don't look into that thing say make the comment all the illegal checking points will be say it day for the overdo make we go for that information make you see as it the hot the inspector general the IGP inspector general of police orders immediate dismantling of all unauthorized checking points on highways. Acting Inspector General of Police, Kayode Ebukotun, has ordered the commissioners of police in 36 states of the Federation and FCT to immediately commence the dismantling of all non-security checking points within their areas of responsibility and arrest all violators for prompt prosecution. We are away of the we are away of the challenges posed by the continued presence of unauthorized persons on the various highways around the country in the guise of revenue collection who constantly constitutes nuisance on the highway by obstructing the flow of traffic and engaging in mischievous activity such as the seizure of vehicles, collection of fines and other unlawful activities, the IGP said. This is just as the IGP gave a three-week automaton to commissioners of police yet to establish the complaint response unit in their command headquarters to do so with a view to combating corruption. Speaking on Thursday during a strategic meeting with DIGs, AIGs and command CPs, Ebe Kotun assured that the police would provide adequate security for the governorship election coming up in three states of the federation, hence there is no need by citizens to worry. He said, with just three states having their gubernatorial election, the police is not burdensome because there are proper and adequate personnel on ground for the election. Just as we have seen in other isolated elections, we have, we have availability of more men in number than one of the general election. I have no fear about how safe and secure of the election which is going to take place on November 11th, 2023. It's very convenient for us to deploy nobody should entertain fear about the security of the November election. We are prepared, we are ready, and very soon we will start deployment. We deliberately decided to take this year's police conference and retreat to one of the states where we are having the election. The conference and retreat is coming just less than two weeks to the election. So, it is deliberate and not by accident that we chose the venue and date. It is also to show the public that we are ready for the election. So, there is no fear for the coming election. He however called on the electorate and politicians to play by the rules of election and shun any form of violence. The annual police strategic managers conference and retreat for the year 2023 we come up between 29th October and 2nd November 2023 in Oweri, Imo State. This conference and retreat serves as a paramount platform for knowledge, exchange, strategic planning, and the strengthening of, a, of our collective resolve to enhance policing in our nation, he said. Continuing, the IGP said, the bolster accountability and transparency within the force we have taken steps such as reinforcing the IGP monitoring unit and the Complaint Response Unit CRU based at the force headquarters and efforts are ongoing to establish CRU offices in all states. 
directive have earlier been given to all state commissioners of police to establish CRU offices in their respective command headquarters as part of our commitment to combating corruption and improving professionalism in the Nigerian police force. Those command commission commissioners of police who are yet to comply are hereby given a deadline of three weeks from today to do so. On welfare and infrastructure, Ebeko to say it, this present police administration very well understands the importance of welfare to bolster efficiency of police officers. Hence, we have commenced the review of police policy and contract agreements on renovating, remodeling, and deconstructing existing police barracks and office accommodation infrastructure around the country. To this end, the Board of the Nigerian Police Force Properties Development and Construction Company recently appointed one of the best hands in property development in Nigeria, Mr. Hakim Ogunirad as the executive consultant to drive the special housing agenda for the police. I have no doubt that the consultant will bring his expertise and experience to bear in making our dream of house for all police officers and men in Nigeria a reality. In alignment with the firm commitment of current police administration under my leadership to foster a culture of improved behavior and attitudinal change within the Nigerian police force. I am pleased to announce that I have given full approval for the commencement of an exercise nationwide reorientation program for all our officers and men to be anchored by the Department of Training and Development. This initiative aims at catalyzing a transformative journey, emphasizing essential facets such as cultivating emotional intelligence, ethics and professional conduct refining effective communication skills and instilling positive values across ranks of our esteemed force. The foundation of any effective police force lies in the character and conduct of its officers. As such, this comprehensive reorientation program represents a pivotal step towards not only enhancing the professional competence of our personal personnel, but also nurturing a new echoes, grounding integrity respect and service to our communities. It is our firm belief that by focusing on these fundamental aspects, we can foster a more compassionate, efficient, compassionate, efficient and responsive police, police force that serves as a true beacon of hope and safety for all citizens across our great nation. Speaking on certain developments in some states, he said, in light of recent distressing events, we must not forget the abduction of eight National Youth Service Corps members in Zamfara State, the safety and well-being of all our citizens, particularly our young NYSC members, remain of utmost importance to us. We are firm in our commitment to intensify our effort at ensuring the safe rescue of these abducted corps members and all others still in captivity of criminal gangs in any part of the country. Currently, we are actively engaged in the sharing and analyzing intelligence gathered thus far, while also exploring collaborative efforts with security agencies to secure the unconditional release of these individuals as swiftly as possible without harm. It is imperative to note that rescue operations generally demand a careful tactical and deliberate approach conducted with utmost caution to avoid unintended harm to the victim. On beheaded DPO, Ebukatum said, the tragic killing of a divisional police officer, S.P. Baku Agbashen, in River State, is another event which serves as a stark reminder of the multidimensional challenges we face in maintaining security and order across our nation. We have mobilized efforts to ensure the perpetrators of the mindless killing of S.P. Baku Agbashen are brought to swift justice why we should note of serious warning to those who have penchant for killing our officers to resist. The slain officer was known for his courageous exploits against vicious criminal elements terrorizing the communities where he served. His gruesome murder and subsequent mutilation of his body is unacceptable to us. 
The perpetrators of this heinous crime as murdered sleep and they obviously will sleep no more. They will be hunted down with all resources at our disposal. Never again shall we be ordinary in our response to the killing of our officers. These murderers will pay dearly for their callous acts. In Kano, we recorded the evacuation of large quantities of fake and expired drugs on 22nd August 2023 discovered in two different warehouses located at Malankano Market. Those who engage in the illicit business of trading in expired and substandard drugs are callous as those who kill innocent citizens in our country. We will from now on intensify our collaboration with the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAVDAC, in ensuring that this group of criminals are no longer given space to operate in our community. Similarly, in Lagos State Police Command, proactive intelligence based on operation has significantly contributed to maintaining law and order in the state. This has led to the arrest of 66 suspects engaged in varying crimes including armed robbery, unlawful possession of firearms, impersonation, cultism, murder, and the recovery of 14 firearms including AK-47 rifle, one of them locally fabricated two locally fabricated toy guns, 15 live cartridges, 14 expanded cartridges, 25 live ammunition, 34 bags of weed suspected to be Indian hemp, 6 vehicles, 2 bags containing fake US dollars, fake pounds sterling notes, and 66 keg of fake total engine oil. FCT Police Command in the past 5 weeks have recorded the arrest of 900 48 suspects for various violent crimes and recovery of various sophisticated arms and ammunitions of different calibers, as we all, as well as stolen vehicles. Now, around three of the arrested suspects were charged with court, where 876 were convicted. This demonstrates the dedication and effectiveness of Nigerian police across various states in Nigeria in responding to criminal activities and ensuring the safety and security of the public. The bang, eh, when I don't see as the hot, eh, I'm not going to wonder in the cutting here. And if not the first time where we say the carry body chook, eh, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and share. And also remember to on the notification button so that whenever our news drop, you will be the first one. Thank you for listening. God bless you.